insert your x and y in this calculator so of course the first step is to on your calculator and then choose the regression mode okay you press mode two times until you see the word reg here okay and now you press two so now uh, because we want to compute the linear regression so press one so now your calculator is already in regression mode linear regression mode Okay, uh, the next step is to clear your data in your calculator first before you insert the new data. Okay, press shift and then mode. After that, SCL here, the number one, you uh, press number one to clear your previous data. And then press equal. After that, press EC. So now you have cleared all the previous data. Okay, uh, the next step is to insert your x and y values. Okay, the first x and y value is this one. When x 80, y is 50. So you put 80 here and then comma uh, 50. And then you press M plus. And then for the next data, 70, 60 here. So 70, comma, 60, and plus. Okay, the next data, 60, 80, 60, comma, 80, and plus. And the next one, 35, 40. So 35, comma, 40, and plus. And the next one, 80 with 75. So 80, comma, 75, and plus. And then the last one, 48, comma, 60. And plus. Okay, now you have put all your data inside this calculator. Okay, now since you need these five values to calculate the R, so you can retrieve these five values in your calculator. So now press shift and then press the number one. Okay, and then you press the arrow sign here, arrow to the right, until you see this total x, y. Okay, because we have two data, right? X and y variables. So, total x, y is the number 3. So, you press the number 3 and equal. So, calculator will give you total of x multiplied with y. So, the value is 23,000. 280. Okay, after that, to retrieve the next value, shift again, the number 1. Okay, so if you want the total x, so this is the total x. Number 2, so number 2, 373. 373 is the uh, total x value, so 373. Okay, next for total y, shift again, the number 1. Okay, for n, you can also retrieve n values here. So n for the number 3, so you press 3, equal, so n is 6. So that means your number of observation is 6. You can get that value in your table also. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values, so n equals to 6. Okay, the next value, we still need to find out what is the total y, total x square and total y square. So shift again, the number 1. So total y is the number 2. So press 2 equal 365. So 365 is total y. After that, total x squared shift number 1. Total y squared. So total x squared is the number 1. So number 1. 2, 4, 8, 2, 9. So 2, 4, 8, 2, 9. Okay, and then shift. Um, Number 1, total y square, the number 1 here, equal 2, 3, 3, 2, 5. Alright, the next step is to insert these 5 values into your formula of R here. Okay, and you will get something like this. Actually, you can um, figure out the final values of R from your calculator without calculating it manually. So.
So in your calculator, now press shift and then the number 2. Shift the number 2. Okay, and then um, press the arrow notation, arrow symbol to the right, this one, until you see R. So this is R. The number 3 is for R. This R here is your correlation coefficient value. So press the number 3, equal sign. This is your R value. So you can straight away put your R value here, 0 0.4344.